Hey, AD Jackson 330 here, and today I'm filming a tour of my craft room bookshelf. So for this first square, we have a pineapple candle that opens up like this, and that is from Target. I got that last summer. And a framed print by Evelyn Henson that says, I love you a latte. This square holds my ceramic cactus from Hobby Lobby and two of the mail holders from the Target dollar spot that I picked up a few years back, and it holds my incoming and outgoing mail. The next square has a marshmallow pop candle from Target, the ampersand sign from Target Dollar Spot, and two of my favorite books by Jenny Han. This last square on the top row holds all of my Happy Planner sticker books, and the basket is from Walmart. It was $1.97 or $1.98, I believe, and also comes in rose gold. The first square on the second row holds this storage unit that I got from Michaels, and it contains all of my planner stickers. The next one contains a Starbucks cup that I just rinsed, washed out, and dried off and used to hold all of my Target Dollar Spot pencils. And two of the Sugar Paper LA boxes that I picked up around Christmas two years ago. And inside, one of them holds postcards that I've gotten from Pen Pals, and the other holds some of my favorite uh, Project Life cards, trinkets, things like that that I've been sent. And this next basket holds all of my sticky notes. We've got Shop Bando. Target Dollar Spot, Typo Shop, all different cute sticky notes that I collect and hoard. The last one on the second row has a print that I cut out of a scrapbook page from Dear Lizzie and Framed. The pink sugar paper LA box underneath it has some of my favorite dessert items I've collected. And in the basket to the right from Target Dollar Spot has all of my 4x6 journaling cards. Uh, some from Project Life, some from Simply Gilded, just my entire collection of them. So this first box on the third row holds some of my favorite books, along with this trinket tray from TJ Maxx and a trinket holder macaroon. And this basket holds my notebook collection. We've got this from TJ Maxx, some typo. I love the foiling on this one. And a few from the Target dollar spot. And more and more because I can't seem to stop buying notebooks. And on the next one we have two of the Target dollar spot binders that hold some of my thank you cards. And then a small basket that has my tag collection. This is one that I made using the Peachy Cheap products. These are some of my pen pals have sent me. Target dollar spot. So I just keep all of those in here in this little basket for easy access whenever I'm making snail mail. And on the last box of the third row, I have this really cute fox candle that my pen pal at Love Letter Generation sent me. Sitting on this um, cupcake tray that I got the Target Dollar Spot. This is just a white box that I got at Michael's and I got these um, donut decals from Fancy It Pretty a few years back and it holds some more of my dessert stationery, along with a warm vanilla sugar candle by Bath & Body Works. And in the first square of the last row, I have all of my lists. We have the packing list and to-do list I picked up at TJ Maxx. Got a lot from the Target dollar spot. This one, I believe, was from a Paper Panda box. And I've just got a ton of those stuck in here. And then the next one over, we have some happy planners. We've got the big case for the classic size for when I want to bring it out to meetups. My planner from last year. My DIY sticker book. This is one that I made for my HOA meetings. This is my social media planner. And this one is my on-the-go planner that has been sadly neglected lately. These three binders are from Target and they hold the rest of my note card collection. And the next row over has this basket that I picked up at Walmart last spring or the spring before. And it holds all of my rubber stamps. I've gotten these from Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Target, AC Moore, PG Cheap. And the very last square holds my Suki Stackhouse books. If you've heard of True Blood, these are the books that some of them were based off of for the most part. I like to pretend like the last season and the last book didn't actually happen, but I was a big fan of the show and the books. 
That's it for this bookshelf tour. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any video requests, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram for more planner and stationary pics. Thank you, everybody.